I get to see every day, you know, the effects of that training that I got back back in the States, but see what it does every day out here. Um, it definitely brings a sense of pride that here we are right in the middle of it and we can reach anywhere in Afghanistan from here. So the uh, MQ-9 is a medium altitude, long endurance, moly potted aircraft that we use for surveillance, reconnaissance, and then also we support, we have some close air support missions. Uh, we are able to employ weapons uh, if required. It's very high ops tempo where it's, it's just a constant flow of takeoffs and recoveries throughout the day. Most of the aircraft are airborne every day for 21 hours. Some of them, they, they land, they're on the ground for three hours, maintenance turns them and they're back airborne. Most of the crews that fly the mission are back in the States, so we just do the launch and recovery portion of the mission. We do all the maintenance on the ground, we turn the aircraft, we launch them, and right after takeoff, we hand back to the crews in the States and they, do, they fly the mission from there. We have both military and civilian counterparts that are working the mission. We treat them just the same way we would treat any airman that's working the line. Um, and they do a lot of work to keep, to keep these aircraft maintained and, uh, and flying every day. You imagine an aircraft flying for 21 hours every day, um, the amount of maintenance that has to go on in the background to make sure that the aircraft is, is operating correctly and is safe. They work really hard to keep this mission going. Nearly every kinetic strike that happens in Afghanistan has an MQ-9 on station uh, before, during, and after the strike, or doing the strike themselves. To be here as a squadron commander is, it's an honor to be able to see what my airmen are able to add to the battlefield here in Afghanistan. It's really rewarding. Every single day, I see the effects that we put on the battlefield by enabling this mission.